So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course we're back with another talk about video. I'm like half tired right now. So yeah, I'm not kind of sleepy right now. So of course my voice is a little bit more smoother. But of course, we're back with another talk about video. Uh, we got some pretty good news right here. Kind of more of a shorter-ish one right here. Um, we did get some new news right for JP. We got whole fresh new battlefield and stuff like that. Fresh new opponents, fresh new enemies. How do you want to go out though? Whatever. So yeah, we did get that for new news for JP right now. For times recording is not on global, which for some other reason it should be, I feel like it. But I think it's the overall just different battlefield. I feel like we're gonna entertain the enemies at some point. I didn't think it was gonna be this kind of early. I feel like the just change enemies on JP. I feel like this just probably could be for the, you know, um, I feel like this should have made a GT1 though. I know the GT1 because I made one for the 5th anniversary. I thought like they should have did that for this one. For Golden Week for both Global and JP. It's weird because I guess Global's gonna get this on the 38th Battlefield when it comes up for Global. I think they're on the like what 20th? 30th? 2 or 29th? One of the two, I can't remember. Um for life right now. So um yeah. Uh, again, a little bit half tired going through the video, just you can tell about my voice. I'm a little bit more calmer than I am normally. But yeah. Uh, I've been amazed that I did a good video. It took a couple days off just doing other things. So, play Spider-Man PS4. Play, if I want to play Sonic Mania, I beat Sonic Forces. Um, I get a little stuff like that off screen. So, yeah, I got a little bit of energy doing this video now. So, yeah. Uh, we have a couple new enemies on here, which I'll probably go over and break them down and stuff like that. Also, on the Battlefield, um, gems now. The Battlefield currency, we actually have some more, um, currency right there. So, of course, when you do it now, you can have a lot more. I think it's like 20k now, I think, there than before. I don't know. Superman, Crucified the Invisible Man, of course, classic Dragon Ball villain, did that with um, Cyborg Cow, even though he was in also Dragon Ball Z, because he's in like, a whole Gohan Filler arc, but I was in the Dragon Ball Z, not a Kai, whatever, whatever. Um, Invisible Man is the first one, he's extreme tech, of course, you cannot lower his attack or stun him. Um, you can't stun, of course, Avocado, um, yeah, because the first blue, I think it's like from the, um, you know, Goku from Return Special. Um, it is the blue, one of them's like Ava, and the other one's Kaido, and the cute's the Avocado, so, yeah. He really wasn't a villain, because at the end of the day, he actually, they weren't actually that bad or whatever, so, yeah. Um, of course, second one, you fight Thousand, you can't lower his attack, I think he double supers. You can't lower his attack, but you can't stun or steal him. That's every battlefield enemy in here. You can't stun or steal him. A spring Kai, what he does? Yeah, he can't do the same thing either. But I think he does. Is that? Okay, okay, excuse me there. Sorry, I burped. Um, he dodged. Okay, yeah, you can So he cannot be dodged. Let me see. Yes, the boss, no, the boss can dodge. He can dodge. He does double super attacks, two super attacks with one turn. So be careful about that. That's really crazy right there. Um, oh, we got some, um, oh yeah, because I know it's a little like, cooler than Boo and back to movies and stuff like that. I um, mean, you definitely tell the current story right there is a lot better than Gold Force. So you can definitely tell. The jokes, yeah, you can't lower, it's basically, you can't lower attack, defense, stun, steal, and typical, typical good stuff. Um, level three is stunning. Lower, you can't lower attack for Vegeta. Um, you can't lower his defense. Second form so you cannot stun him or stun or seal. Again, it's half of them. And healing up, so I guess he replaces the Zamasu because he used to do that, just heal up a lot. Um, oh dang, Piccolo does too. They have double healers in here. That's insane. This is my first time kind of reacting over it. Because, you know, for the APM, I mean, I can't do computer wise like this. Every Gold Boy, I, you know, do, you know, because I've mainly played Gold Boy, I don't want to feel like playing JP. Just, again, I tried playing JP before, honestly, though. Was it really the best one, in my opinion, though? But, oh. Oh, I just started hurting there, so. That was okay for me, though, but am I in my hair? There's no feel. Um, on camera. Okay, he has him in there. Um, you hear, you hear any, like, wow, a little bit of noise. This is downstairs, downstairs. Um, but yeah. Um, trying to figure out Oh, my nose is killing me. Um, for the fourth, and the third one is go because he does double super, and Piccolo does healing. I guess it's kind of repeat, repeat from level two and level, repeat level two and Zabasu, I guess. And I'm like, guys, I heard his exit. Oh, he loves switching. Yeah, the last boss is always kind of difficult. It's weird they completely changed it time around. Um, probably just for this battle because it does last a lot. A lot of battle at least last a month. That's like, at least I don't. That's like a death rest right there. That feels almost every single month, so it refreshes every month. Then, yeah, you know what it is and stuff like that. Uh, missions, I think, are pretty much the same thing. I believe. I think it's the same thing. I think they changed it. You think? It, no, I think they did because on global we don't have that many cards. You can't get that many cards yet. I don't remember it getting kind of like this on Global. It might be different. I don't know, this is just how many times you clear the stages and stuff like that, you know. Clear the certain system of stages. There's no time limit over there. The, the, for the left side, for me, for the left side. It's basically like clearing all the missions and stuff like that. The second one is like doing missions again. I do going to back for like three times, more, three more times. So it's like more times. That takes like, what, well, it's almost three, two hours ish. So yeah. And the weekly rewards are pretty much still the same. Though. But you do get more currency. I definitely see that there. It's actually really, really useful out there. I really good to add more coins there. Although we did get a new LR here, so you can, it's gonna be a lot more easier to get them here than you know normally. So 
pretty solid though, actually. Pretty good enemies and stuff like that in Mario. Though. So yeah, I'm um, kind of proud for the people that actually have you know fixed the enemies. They changed up a little bit though. Really glad that they did for Corporal. So really useful right there. Though. I actually do really do like that though, of course. But yeah, um, simple, easy. I feel like this is gonna be pretty difficult. This is not bad. Battlefield usually is really massively, massively difficult though. But man, it happens. Um, also, we got a um, the LR here, so um, we'll read over them, of course. But that Shadow Dragon Army right here. Um, again, we could, but yeah, because it's internal, right? They're not Mecha, because if it was on Mecha, the Shadow Dragons would be there. They probably will be in the background while you go up We technically did get a new sin, though, so. Probably it's been like, what, four or five years now in the game, so. No? Okay. Just, just me? Okay. Uh, so, what do they do? They do GT bosses, key three, everything at 130. Is, okay, that's actually kind of typical right there. If they get easy A, 150, or 160, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I, I don't know, I feel like we're, they're really the easy A's, but I feel like they're gonna, cool, they're probably gonna be easy A next, I wanna say. Not for like LRs wise, but I feel like you could get, be the first one to get easy A from that LR Battlefield batch, because again, we don't, we don't still don't have like LR Bardock, like it's been like a year already. And, and we just got these guys, again, Battlefield just continues to add LRs. Now, day one players are a couple months players, because again, Battlefield's like every month, so it's gonna be kind of difficult to, you know, kind of go through all this and go through all this stuff, so. Just, I don't know, that's gonna be. So, yeah. Um,. First super attack is cost of damage, lowest attack defense. They have a unit super attack, um, which basically mega cost of damage, lowest defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Uh, passive does attack defense plus 70%, plus additional, uh, plus another attack defense plus 70% when doing the super attack. Um, plus 4 key, the target's boss has an attack down or defense down status, GD boss category LS key 3, attack defense plus 31%. Um, 30%. Of course, their active skill does 7 key and all, out, and all enemies minus attack plus 30% for one turn. It feels more of an active skill. That's not really not an active skill. It feels more like a mini passive right there. It can be activated from the seventh turn from the start of battle only once. You're never going to see that. You're never going to see this active skill. What the heck do they would do? Oh my lord. Um, of course, links are Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, GT, Shadow Dragons, Movie Bosses, Legendary Power. Their categories are Shadow Dragons, Saga, Joint Forces, and GT Bosses, which. All pretty much need to help not join forces as much, but Shadow Dragon Saga needed it. Dra Shadow Dragon Saga needed it. GT bosses don't really need it, but they could probably use more. But they could use more units because GT heroes has way more better units than these guys right here. So yeah, really good though, honestly. Though. Again, GT bosses as a like you know, it'd be cool to have a Shadow Dragon Saga category or something. Um, so has a Shadow Dragon Saga category. They already have that. A Shadow Dragon Saga arc, whatever. Like a Shadow Dragons category, like all the Shadow Dragons. I feel like we can make that a category, honestly. I mean, they've done the game for us and give us like free play versions of all these guys. Everybody's been looking at for years already, though, so... Oh, well, that was kind of zip of the future. So, yeah. Um, yeah, though, they seem pretty solid, actually, though. Again, more of a support being that kind of round, though. Um, but again, there are free play units who do have to understand the limitations. They always do the free play units. People always have to understand. They always do the free play They always do the free play units. So there's no exception, no... Blah, 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 blah. It's do like this. They always do like this. So yeah. But I'm going to head into the video here though. Not that bad though, honestly. It's about this. I'm not. Um, again, I just want to kind of like go over like the specs and stuff like that. Because I did not make a video for these guys and I really want to get it out soon. Because I am going to be out of town on Sunday. So you know, Mother Day and stuff like that. I'm going to be out of town. Just doing all the little stuff. This is going to be quite a crazy week going on. So yeah, pretty busy though. Hopefully I can try to get the video out as soon as I can. This again, I haven't had like really ten double videos as much late. It's good taking a break, honestly. Because I got some sleep. I've um, been playing games and stuff like that a lot. They're actually pretty useful in helping me out there a lot. So, yeah. I'm going to sleep like, for me like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. my time down here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, that, that actually is coming along. Yeah, Shadow Dragon Saga, again, they're more, you guys are more support type unit slash, you know, I feel like they're going to hit hard, but they're also, I mean, they're a support type unit you know, for themselves, kind of. With the active skill, which you're never going to see at all. Trust me, you're not going to see the active skill. You know, super attack, do they ever specify who to use? Because they always specify who to use. I guess it's just a. I mean, it happens randomly? Or you gotta have a Sh Dragon Saga enemy or something like that? Or ally or whatever? I don't know. Uh, that's gonna be difficult because you're not gonna always win that team. Plus, again, I mean, no I mean, no, as everybody still runs on Mega Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, yeah, you'll easily find a Shadow Dragon Saga enemy uh, with these guys. Again, I feel like they're gonna try to split the category hero and villain, basically with GT heroes, and basically split up the hero and villain. So, and overall GT category, like hero, movie heroes, move bosses. So, should have been one category, but we also have these guys now, which basically, you know, not these guys, but we have like GT bosses and GT heroes as well, you know. All separate thing, kind of combining thing. It's typical category stuff, you know, split off hero, villain, like the categories, perspectives of hero or villain, or just again, combine them, both making both hero and villain, separately hero and villain, etc. etc. We typically know all this type of stuff, so yeah. Good guy in the video here for sure, though. LR Shadow Dragons, new battle for enemies, what you guys think of this stuff like that, all that stuff like that, so yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, great life. Oh, good day. Good night, for sure. Stay safe. Watch your hands.
God bless all the other going out. I don't have to keep up paper if you really, really need to. <laughs> I, my, face is phasing into, my face is phasing into my desk. So what do you guys think about like the apps and stuff? If you like it, if you hate it, oh, it's great. I heard it's a little bit harder though. I haven't done it myself. For so Global, I feel like it could come sooner or later again. For all the parts of this stuff, maybe all, all half the part one stuff from JP is going to be Global and JP is going to hire some new stuff. They're not going to introduce for Global. But again, then, but again, this is like a whole month celebration. So, because Gordon would do that's the whole month. Indo do in general, that's like the whole time. So, I think it's still got some time for Global. Because it got some time so I had to kind of cover over all this. Um, but I feel like they're not going to show it all in part two, in my opinion. But they also could, if they really want to. But I, I, I highly doubt that, of course, though. But yeah, um, so both that. So, yeah, see you guys later. That one, you know, it's out.